Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to make your VPN undetectable in order to access websites or services that otherwise might limit VPN access. Maybe these websites could be streaming services or gaming platforms, gambling platforms, government restricted websites, basically any website that is restricted by firewalls, like the ones you find at school or at work. So half the work here actually relies on using a reliable VPN that has proper obfuscation and maybe the right tools to get around network restrictions. So that's why I've run several tests on a bunch of different VPNs and I've narrowed it down to ExpressVPN, NordVPN and Surfshark as like the best overall at being undetectable and getting around network restrictions. Before we get going, if at any point you'd like to check out any of these VPNs, you'll find some in-depth reviews in the description down below, as well as special discounts to save you some money. So as I said earlier, these three VPNs, they have the proper obfuscation that would allow you to access any websites that would normally limit VPN access. What obfuscation means is that they essentially encrypt your internet traffic, but they also make it look like regular traffic so that your ISP or any website you're trying to access won't know that you're using a VPN from the way your data looks. So that's why I've chosen these three for this video because they're just the best at being undetectable. Maybe on the off chance that you couldn't access a certain website or get around a certain firewall, which is again, highly unlikely with these three, there are a few things you can do to fix the situation. So first of all, you need to choose any obfuscation options you have available. So with ExpressVPN, obfuscation is always on by default. So it makes it as much of a plug and play VPN as it can get. Like you don't have to adjust anything to make it work. You just use the VPN as is. With NordVPN, you've got obfuscated servers and Onion Over VPN, which will help you connect if you're in a censorship heavy country. And with Surfshark, you can go to the set settings, select VPN settings and turn on rotating IP and no borders mode to help you connect from countries with heavy censorship restrictions. What this no borders mode does is that it detects any attempts to limit your internet access and automatically switches to the obfuscated server that works best for your situation. Now, another thing you want to look out for is protocols. So if you're having trouble connecting to a VPN server or accessing a specific website, try changing the protocol you're using. In this case, I recommend setting your protocols to auto because this allows your VPN to automatically choose the most optimal protocol based on your situation. Now, in case you want the fastest performance, I recommend using Lightweight UDP with ExpressVPN, Nordlinks with NordVPN, and WireGuard with Surfshark. So these protocols, they would make sure you have the best connection speed, but if they don't work properly, which again is highly unlikely, you can always set the protocol back to auto and just let the VPN handle it. Okay, so another thing you can do is if your VPN allows you to change ports, switch to ports 443 or 80, because these would help get around network restrictions as well. But in case your VPN and doesn't support changing ports, use any of the options that we just talked about, like the obfuscated servers with Nord or turn on no borders mode with Surfshark because they're just similar to changing ports, but automated by the VPN itself. ExpressVPN, on the other hand, it doesn't require manual adjustments. Like it's just plug and play, like I said, specifically designed to get around network restrictions and heavy censorship. Now, another idea to get around censorship and make your VPN undetectable is to switch to mobile data. That's because like schools and workplaces, they often limit VPN access to modern the content you're trying to see and obviously you can just overcome this by switching the Wi-Fi off and using mobile data so you can just use your VPN as usual. But unfortunately, this won't help you like avoid DPI or governmental censorship. But another thing you can do is use a dedicated IP address, which is going to be exclusively yours. So that way it's highly unlikely to have its access limited by these websites or networks. Because normally when you connect to a VPN server, you share an IP with other people who are connected. And with so many users simultaneously using the same IP, it can look a bit fishy to the sites that you're trying to access. But a dedicated server that is exclusively yours makes it easier to get around this. And it also prevents CAPTCHA security alerts, which are common with frequent server switching. With that being said though, dedicated IP servers are a separate service you can buy alongside your subscription with Nord and Surfshark. And ExpressVPN, they don't offer any dedicated service at the time being, but depending on the VPN you're using, you might also have the option to change your DNS. So you can maybe use Google's DNS or any other DNS that you think might work because changing your DNS can be an effective strategy for getting around network restrictions. 
It's generally not recommended though, because these VPNs default DNSs are usually the best at getting around network restrictions. So I would just say, consider that as a last resort. But of course, you don't have to worry about any of that if you're using a reliable VPN in the first place, because I've tested over 30 VPNs and I've narrowed it down to these three as like the best for getting around network restrictions and heavy censorship. Like all of them have great speeds, audited no logs policies, you know, plenty of servers and like all the necessary security features. So like I said, you don't don't really have to go through any of the measures that I mentioned as long as you're using a good, reliable VPN like Express, Nord, and Surfshark. But in the off chance that you might need them, these are like the most effective methods to avoid censorship. So if you're interested in learning a little bit more about like the privacy policy, speeds, and streaming, and torrenting capabilities, and maybe more security features of these particular VPNs, you can just check out the in-depth reviews down below where you'll also find links to the pricing and those discounts I mentioned if you'd like to go straight to that. And they're all covered by a 30 day money back guarantee. So you can just like stress test these VPNs for 30 days risk free. So that's all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to check the links out in the description to grab yourself those amazing discounts. Otherwise, like and subscribe to see more of these videos and let me know in the comments if there's anything cybersecurity you'd like me to cover. So again, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.